afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back once again to Fat Cat Collections. Today, I want to share with you guys another product for your firearm. And this is by a company that goes by the name of Craft Holsters, uh, and they specialize in making leather, high quality leather holsters. Uh, Craft reached out to me a couple weeks ago, and it was nice enough to send me uh, three different holsters uh, from their various selection, their various catalog. So first off, let me just show you guys, uh, let me get right into it because a lot of times uh, you guys know I like to ramble on. Uh, let me show you the one we're going to be talking about today. And that is uh, one of their black leather holsters or cu uh, custom made holsters for, uh, this is my dad's uh, Taurus uh, revolver. Uh, so I got this specifically from Kraft because I wanted to check something out in one of their revolver style uh, guns. I personally don't own a revolver. Um, I used to own uh, a Ruger. Uh, and I regret selling the damn thing. Uh, but it's something I will get eventually. But um, my dad wanted something that was going to be very easy for him to take on or off. And I think that a paddle holster is just a great option. Uh, so, again, I want to thank Kraft for their generosity and sending me these to review. And I'm just super impressed with the quality uh, of the product. But also what makes, you know, having a YouTube channel, being able to do this uh, all the time awesome is that you build a lot of relationships with companies and you learn about companies and how they treat people. Uh, I'll tell you, you know, it. it you know, you would think that if a company wants to collaborate with a YouTuber, uh, that naturally, you know, common sense is going to tell us, oh, well, they're going to, you know, do all the right things because this, you know, person is giving us a review. Uh, not the case. I can't tell you the number of companies that I've worked with that are amazing and companies that really act like they're doing you a favor, you know. Uh, so, again, if a company can't take care of somebody they're collaborating with, how are they going to take care of a customer? One thing I absolutely love about Kraft is this is one of those companies that honestly, uh, I always have pretty good luck. You know, we have some companies that, you know, sometimes you have bad luck with, whatever, you know, as long as the product's good, that's what really matters. But it's a real bonus to get a company uh, like Kraft uh, and just how they treat their customers. Um, you know, they were, I mean, communication seems like something that should be common sense again in today's day and age with smart smart devices and cell phones in everybody's pockets they're like little computers everybody has with them all the time you know we see people constantly on their phones uh updating their status taking pictures of their food there's no excuse not to get back to somebody craft is like same day now there is a little bit of a turnaround time uh because of the time difference here uh but seriously within 24 hours my guy is getting back to me. And that just shows you how they're going to treat their customers. Um, if I have a question, they respond. Uh, I have a, a concern, they respond. Uh, I don't have to wait, you know. They say they're going to do something and they do it. And I'll tell you, again, I've worked with a lot of companies that I kind of have to, you know, they'll collaborate, they'll want to collaborate, they'll reach out. Next thing you know, uh, I respond back instantly. Uh, 24 hours is my limit. If you email me, you will get a response. Most time it's going to be within an hour, uh, unless I'm sleeping, right? Some companies I have, to, I have to chase after for a week, you know? So again, this is not that company. Uh, I am extremely uh, happy I, that this company discovered me and I discovered this company. So let's go ahead and show you guys uh, what a paddle holster is. Now I'm sure you guys have seen uh, holsters like this before. Um, I'm a huge fan of leather. I do have a couple Kydex holsters, but there's just something about leather. Not only is it sleek, it's sexy, um, it's extremely functional, it's very durable, and it's very comfortable. Uh, so with this, I actually, over the, over the summer, I broke my dad's holster uh, before I actually picked up any kind of handguns uh, other than my, my little 22. Uh, this last year, I, I obviously acquired more. Uh, I took this on the boat when we went camping, just in case, right? Uh, and so I had a little Uncle Mike's holster, and the plastic kind of wore out in, over the years, and I, it was on my belt. I turned and kind of leaned back, and it snapped. So I've been owing my dad a holster. Uh, and it was great because I said, yeah, I'll get you one. I'll find something. What do you want? He wasn't sure. And then, of course, Kraft reached out, and I said, this is a great opportunity to get my dad something uh, that he's going to really like and be able to use, um, you know, and, and learn about a new company. So Kraft, uh, my dad thanks you. Uh, he absolutely loves this holster. Uh, love, love, loves it. So what do you get with this? So you do get an adjustable uh, uh, paddle. And the reason I chose a paddle for my dad and why he, you know, decided to, for, you know, he could have got whatever he wanted. But um, the reason we chose the paddle is because I'll tell you guys, I have several different holsters. And a real issue I have is I don't always want to wear my gun around the house, right? And so it's a pain to have to have this holster on your hip all the time. I've had some of the clip-on ones. I've had the belt loop models. You know, the paddle is just a great way to very quickly throw your gun on your hip, go out, run to the store, whatever, uh, without having it be kind of a nuisance. Um, now, I'd not to say I don't wear other holsters, you know, but I love the paddle holster. So what, you know, basically how it works, you have this huge rounded paddle which will contour around your body. 
Uh, this has a couple different pins right here where you can move these based on where you want this to kind of uh, kind of put friction on your jeans. What I did is I took these off because for me, uh, my buddy was just over and he wears his pants pretty baggy. He's a pretty thin guy, wears suspenders. He can tuck his gun right in his waistline and it's comfortable. For me, uh, I wear everything pretty fitted and I wear my pants pretty tight. So it's not easy for me to, you know, to, to slide one of these paddles in my pants or any kind of holster like this. So by removing these screws, it allows me to very quickly shove the gun right in my pants. And I'll demonstrate on my Canik here, uh, I've removed those screws. So for me, very easily, I can slide this right into my waist and it doesn't get hung up on anything. This isn't going to go anywhere. This is, this is on you. So uh, fantastic. Now this one is a different holster. Uh, I'll be reviewing this one in a different video, of course. But I wanted to share with you guys today, again, the revolver holster. So this does have the thumb tab. Uh, let me go ahead and sit back down here. Super comfortable paddle, and this is adjust, you can adjust the cant. So my dad hasn't decided what he wants yet, but you just loosen the screw and you can cant the gun. For me, I'd probably have this maybe at more of like an angle like this, just because I find when I'm getting it out of my car with any gun, uh, having it canted forward kind of kind of gives me a little more space between it and the seat. Um, I'm not trying to you know put a hole in my leather or anything like that. So uh, you have the thumb brake on this, which is great. Keeps the gun super secure. Uh, fits this gun to a T, it's perfect. Uh, they do give you an included uh, oil kit to help condition the the leather. Uh, unfortunately, um, I accidentally threw away my leather conditioner. So I'll buy something on Amazon just to help uh, condition and soften the leather. Uh, these are meant to fit tight, so when you get them, you will have to condition a little bit. Uh, but the quality is awesome. You can see how thick the leather is. Uh, this is something that's going to last you for, for a lifetime. Uh, and with the thumb brake, you, know, you can pop the gun out, of course. Very nice, high quality leather, super thick, um, and it's like I said, just incredible. You have a, a tension pin right here, a tension screw. If you want to squeeze this in a little bit tighter, you can do so. Um, I found this fits perfect. Again, it's up to my dad on how he wants to, uh, how much tension he wants to put on here. Um, once it's snapped in, it's super secure. Uh, absolute fantastic quality. Again, when you feel this leather, something I, I don't know if this would qualify as like law enforcement, not that law enforcement carries revolvers anymore, at least not that I know of, but, um, you know, it's definitely generally like, you know, professional trade stuff uh, tends to last last longer and stand the test of time. Uh, just super thick, super durable. Um, I, I absolutely love these holsters. So let me just talk a little bit more about uh, what you get. You can get, if you want to get um, a monogram design, you can, they offer embossing. Um, I didn't opt for any of that. I probably could have, I should have. <laughs> but um, anyway, you do get a five year warranty on all their products. They have gun belt, mag pouches, and holsters. Uh, they pretty much carry most of the holsters you're gonna find, or most of the brands. Um, the different carry styles, you have inside the waistband, outside the waistband cross draw, drop leg, paddle, and most of the time cross draw holsters are going to be, uh, you know, if I'm a right hand standard holster, you can move it to the other side, have it be cross draw. Um, pretty much I would think most uh, most um, holsters are going to be cross draw, just move it to the other side, right? So, uh, but anyway, you do get, you know, the paddle style, small to the back, which I'll review with, I'll share with you guys at a later date, shoulder holsters, you name it. Um, I like this company so much, I'm hoping that I'll collaborate with them in the future. I'll probably do something with a shoulder holster to see what the quality looks like on the shoulder holsters. Now, one thing I will say about, the, like I said, the company, um, you do have a little bit more of a turnaround time. So these are custom made. Um, I believe that uh, every holster is made in-house. I think there are a few occasions where they might have to outsource, but most of the time these are going to be made in-house. They do have a custom shop as well. Uh, where look, you can get some really beautiful stuff if you want to go ahead and uh, spend the extra money. I'm not sure what these cost, but they have some amazing. I'm looking at one called the Goldfinger Holster. Uh, maybe I should have requested that one. Uh, look at that gold, gold coated hole. Hol you guys know I love gold. So, I mean, my God, I wish I would have looked at the website more. That's what I'm looking for. Craft, hook me up. Man, that's beautiful. So, uh, I didn't, yeah, I didn't even know they had stuff like this. So, I'd encourage you guys, again, link is in the description of every single video I make. Uh, go ahead and check out the custom section and check out all the different holsters they have. If that's not your cup of tea, uh, if you're not looking for anything custom, again, you have many different options to choose from. Um, now, I will just want to share with you guys, since I have this right here, uh, this is a Canik TP9. Um, if you are in the market 
uh, for a holster for the Canik. Remember, I'm using this, this. This holster is for the Waltham P99. So the Waltham P99 and the Canik are extremely similar. They're almost identical. Uh, the Canik is sort of a copy of the Walther. So most Canik holsters are going to fit perfectly. Um, this one here, I mean, if the I have the small of the back holster and this holster. Uh, one thing I will note that there is a little bit of a discrepancy between the small of the back holster and this particular holster. This gun fits perfectly in the small of the back holster. In this one here, it was a little bit tighter. And I reached out to them in the beginning and was like, hey, you know, this doesn't fit as good as I would have hoped. It fits a little bit different. Um, I will say there is a little bit of a different fit on this particular model, but uh, they recommend to just kind of get some, you know, use the oil, which I unfortunately threw away. Um, you know, I'll get some, you know, some mitt oil or some uh, conditioning oil and rub this. But honestly, just having the gun, um, I kind of feel like maybe I jumped the gun a little bit, no pun intended. Um, having the gun in the holster for the last couple weeks, um, it definitely has taken on a little bit more of a, uh, of a custom fit on the holster. So uh, fantastic, beautiful holster. I mean, yeah, it definitely fits better than when I first got it. So, uh, and mine has a little bit of cant to it. I thought the brown was a pretty nice uh, contrast with that, with that uh, awesome, awesome um, burnt bronze color that, uh, I got on this gun. It's a, it's a fantastic gun, and I mean this is fantastic. So um, now again, going back to the paddle holster, one thing I again, another thing I really love about it is I know it's not a big deal when you think about oh, I'm gonna you know conceal carry. I personally, for me, um, I'm not like super diehard about this stuff. Like I love guns, I love collecting things, and you know enjoy the stuff and shooting, but I'm not like over the top. And some of these guys are. No disrespect, some of you guys are all about it. You know, it's like they act like, uh, you know, that we're living in a combat situation every day of our lives. And, you know, I, I, and it's a whole different argument. But for me, I sometimes carry my gun. Sometimes I, you know, don't really feel the need to. To each your own, do what you want to do. But I don't always want to have a gun on my, on my hip, right? And I will find that it's a pain if I'm sitting around the house working on the computer, doing stuff around here, to have the holster, even with the gun not in it, just kind of flapping around, or not even, I shouldn't say flapping around, but you know, tightly secured on my belt. I don't always want to have that. So the paddle holster is a great way uh, to secure this on your body in a pinch. So again, really quick, pop it in your waistline and you're good to go. Um, and for a revolver, this is a great fit. I mean, uh, now again, depending on how you wear your clothes, uh, you know, this obviously you can't really conceal with the type of clothes I'm wearing, but um, you know, it's still, it's still super functional super comfortable and you know like I said sometimes I just want to run down um, head down to the store or whatever and you know real quick I'm gonna you know I don't I'm not looking to change my whole outfit take off my belt put the holster on this makes it really convenient very easy so again that's about it uh, if you guys haven't tried a paddle holster I definitely would check out this brand uh, check out their other leather holsters they have some amazing stuff uh, for the most part, what, again, all the major manufacturers, all the major models. And I would think that if there's something that you need that uh, maybe you can't maybe you can't find on their site, drop them an email, drop me a comment, drop me an email. I'll bump it up the chain there and uh, and and get try to get you guys an answer because I'm always looking to help people. Uh, you know, you know, get get something they're going to be happy with. So uh, as far as pricing on this, they range in price. I don't know about the custom shop, but. Uh, as far as the holsters are concerned, most of them in this style, whether it be on the waistband or paddle, um, open muzzle, closed muzzle, you'll get about 75 bucks to 165 if you're going to get something like shoulder harness or shoulder holster. Um, again, all the prices are kind of similar, but um, the reviews are outstanding. I mean, they uh, every one of their holsters has five-star reviews. 630, like just one I'm looking at, 639 reviews, 335, 441. 803 there are a ton of reviews that you guys can check out and let me just before I make that statement let me just make sure you can check out the reviews make sure you can read the reviews yeah I mean because some companies will put that on there and they're not real reviews but this company everybody all these just a lot of reviews uh, you won't even find that in a lot of Amazon listings so um, you know, nothing but, but raving reviews, five stars on all these. That's a lot. I'm actually a little surprised, 639, because um, I guess I kind of thought this was more of a, a newer company. But 
Um, it's incredible. So it says they're doing something right, and uh, I think you guys will really like their product. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you make a purchase. I always like to get that feedback so I can let the company know. And again, people like me when I'm doing these reviews, uh, you know, I can't tell you again the number of times where somebody might have had an issue. You know, businesses are busy, especially in the pandemic and all this stuff. Uh, it's harder to get a hold of people. Um, this company, I don't think you're going to have a problem with. But if you do, by you know, by all means, drop me a comment, drop me an email. I can get that to my guy and get you an answer or get you taken care of. Uh, they're definitely a company that wants to take care of their customers. So uh, in my experience with them, it, I, I have no doubt with that. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Do click the bell to be notified anytime I upload a new video. Again, Craft Holters, Holsters, thank you for your generosity in sending these to me. Um, I really hope that we get to collaborate again in the future. Have a great evening, guys, and take care.